Do you ever ask yourself, why is any of this actually here? I've heard a lot of stories. Some people say we came from a tiny point of infinite density and infinitely small. Other people say we came from some extraordinary garden and that God did it. Rubbish. I will tell you the true story of why we are here today in this shape. Spoiler, Wolverine did it. <laughs> Think about tricksters, right? They're greedy, they're selfish, they're, um, they're propelled by their own desire. But they're capable of amazing things, these great miracles. And that's why tricksters, they're sort of a reflection of us, right? We're all tricksters. We've all got trickster energy in us. We, um, we're, we're animals, like all the creatures in this story. We're animals, but we're also, we're also kind of semi-divine, right? So, desire. Desire makes this world. So this next story is another trickster story. So we're going to leave Crow now, we're going to leave Alaska, we're going to fly over Canada, we're going to fly to sort of uh, Labrador, Newfoundland, Greenland, with the Innu and the Inuit people, where there's another kind of trickster. This time, it's Wolverine. This is a Wolverine story. Long ago. <laughs> long, long ago. Before time even began, there was nothing but water. Water everywhere, water stretching out in all directions, infinitely water stretching up, down, everywhere. Everything was water. But there were a few beings around it, a few uh, animal spirits. One of them was Wolverine. He existed, he dreamed in this time. But obviously he didn't like getting his feet wet, so he would just leap from sort of um, iceberg to iceberg, because that's all there was. He would leap, and he would leap a thousand miles at a time, because he could, because it was magic. He would just leap, and all the while, he would dream, he would desire, he would remember, he would remember something before. He was sure there was a before, he, he remembered it, he remembered, he could remember treetops, he could remember mountain springs, he could remember, he could remember his beloved, whose name was one who wiggles nicely. He could remember her. He could remember her. And he had heard a story that everything that ever was existed underneath, deep underneath the water. So Wolverine, desiring, feeling that desire in his belly, on one of his leaps, he called out over the waves. He called out to any other animal spirits that might be there. And just a few heeded his call. There was, <clears throat> there was beaver. There was otter, there was, you know, all the all the eighty, all the eighty, they're all there. <clears throat> and he said, guys, I've got a hunch, I've got a wolverine, I've got a tricksy, trickster hunch that there's stuff deep down there under the sea. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dive down and get it. Otter. Otter, slayer of fish, you're up first. You dive really well. So Otter, Otter was like, Otter was pretty pumped to be chosen. He was gonna be the hero. So he dived down and he went deep, 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 deep down through the blue green into the black inkiness, but he could see nothing, just the odd fish and a whole lot of kelp. Otter came up, empty pulled. Wolverine was dismayed, but he said, no matter, next up, it's Beaver, the mighty Beaver, builder of dams, speller of trees. Uh, you are going to dive down and you're going to find ground and you're going to eat it up and you're going to bring it up. Go, mighty beaver. Go down deep under the waves. And beaver went. Oh, that's what beaver sounds like, apparently. Uh, and down he went. <clears throat> and beaver went down, 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 deeper, down, deeper than otter, deeper than anyone has ever been into the depths of the human subconscious. But he found nothing. Nothing. And he came up. And Wolverine was very... Very, very sad. And if, if Otter couldn't do it, if Beaver couldn't do it, that's it. There's nothing, nothing but water forevermore now. No ground, no one who wiggles nicely, no KFC, no nothing. There will be nothing, 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 nothing. Just this, just this forever, just this, just this. But there was one animal left, one little animal. And his name was Muskrat. And he's the runt of the litter, right? 
he's, 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 he's not up to the task. And Muskrat says, I'll do it. <laughs> and Wolverine's like, really? And the other one was like, Phew. and Killer Whale's like, well, I didn't even want to do it, but you can't do it. <clears throat> but Muskrat is up to the task. And he says, yeah, but if you just um, tie a little thong around my ankle first, right? And then I'll swim down and I'll eat all the ground and I'll bring it up. And Wolverine's like, all right, mate, go on then. <clears throat> So down muskrat goes, deeper down, deep, 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 deeper down, into the inky blackness of your soul. And there, he sees ground, he sees snow-capped mountains, he sees jungles, he sees rivers, he sees great azure skies, and um, he gobbles it all up, all of it, all of it, all of it, into his mouth, and then <clears throat> he tugs on his little rope, and they pull him up. And they pull him up, and they pull him up, and oh, no, there's just a bit of string. Muskrat's not even there, they're despondent. But then, Muskrat appears. Huge, massively fat. The fattest thing you've ever seen. Bars, he's got the entire cosmos inside him. And he pops up, boom, bobbing on the waves. And the animals are there, they're like, oh, bloody hell, right. Um, how do we, uh, how do we uh, so spin him round? How do we get inside? But every single orifice is stopped up with dirt. Eye sockets and his nostrils, his mouth. No, I can't get in there. There was just one orifice left, right? So they spin Muskrat round and uh, they've got Muskrat's legs here and Wolverine, because it's got to be Wolverine, he's the only one that will go near there. Just, sorry, just parts Muskrat's bum cheeks, right? And there, in Muskrat's pulsating sphincter. Where he puts his eye out. <laughs> There's everything. There's everything. <coughs> there are hummingbirds and jungles and moors and the Pennines and the wide Sargasso Sea and pyramids in the jungle and hummingbirds the size of cars and civilizations rising and falling that's the entire cosmos the milky way there's andromeda all of it is inside muskrat's asshole and wolverine says muskrat and muskrat says we've got to get this out of you and muskrat says and wolverine says it'll be here for a minute maybe and muskrat goes he was constipated by human culture, by civilization. We all know the feeling. And Muskrat, I mean Wolverine, he puckers up his lips, spreads Muskrat's cheeks wide, and puts his lips. <coughs> and he blows, 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 and out of Muskrat's mouth comes everything. The Sahara Desert, Preston, <laughs> everything, everything you can imagine, everything you can imagine, like in Joni Mitchell, just like the weird jazz stuff and blue, out comes like Little Richard, out comes Laser Quest, out comes the entire cosmos, everything you can even conceive of comes, comes, comes pouring out of muskrats, um, protons, gluons, the whole cosmos, all of creation, all comes out of that. So, my friends, I promised at the beginning of this show that I was going to tell you how you all came to be. <laughs> you all came out of Muskrat's bumhole. <laughs> and Wolverine is still blowing, my friends. He's still blowing. He's still creating culture because we're all tricksters and we're all creating this together. So, go out tonight and be cheeky. My name's Oliver Lavery. <laughs>